Hello, bonjour, comment ça va All right, more news about the potential Oculus Quest 2 coming out. Let's go If you're new to the channel, welcome to VR Essentials. My name is Lazius K. Do consider subscribing because we post some really cool videos, which is all about the practical uses of VR. So just when I thought I was going to upload a video about something completely different, I woke up and what do I see? Oculus Quest 2, more news. And of course, Oculus have to remain in the news somehow. They have to keep relevant and shine the spotlight on them because otherwise all the attention is going to be on the HP, which released their VR headset quite recently, which is in pre-order at the moment. And of course, Pico, who also released their own standalone and Lynx, who have their own standalone as well. So they have to remain relevant. And of course, Qualcomm, who are partnering with 30 more brands to release a whole bunch of other VR headsets uh, throughout 2021. Now, the reason why this leak is pretty important and why people are paying attention to it is because this person called Walking Cat on Twitter actually leaked other VR headsets in the past, not Oculus, but other ones, and weeks later it turns out to be true. Obviously, the image that's been circulating in the media is not a real photograph. It is a 3D render, probably done, I would say, with V-Ray, or down in 3ds max or maya or autocad or whatever other 3d software that they might use to develop the products now obviously the most noticeable difference between the current oculus quest and the one in the image is the color now if it's really going to be white we're going to have to be so careful because any scratches will be so obvious and you know white can get dirty so easily and it doesn't age very well white just doesn't age very well it can become kind of sepia tone or cream color tone so, you know, we're just gonna have to wait and see on that one. Now, trying to tell the differences in an image like that is a bit like playing this game where you put two identical images together and you place them side by side and you try to spot the differences. Now, the IPD has been said is gone on this image. Now, either they put, you know, the regulator somewhere else or it will be electronic or perhaps they won't even need it because if you look at the Oculus Go, now I did almost 1500 VR demos and you know more than a thousand people tried to go during these demos that I did and all of them said wow it's really sharp really clear so it's very possible that perhaps they'll do away with it and if they do away with it it's another thing they don't have to worry about and you know potentially means that the headset will be even lighter. It's also been said that the cameras have been shifted a little bit towards the back so that could actually perhaps make it easier especially with hand tracking when we don't have our hands right in front of the actual headset to still be tracked and of course have better tracking with the actual controllers when we're moving our you know our arms up and down or behind our back. In terms of the controllers it looks pretty similar to the current ones but it would be pretty nice if actually they could get rid of the fact that we have to put AA batteries inside and then like similarly the Nolo controllers or the controllers from the Pico we could actually use a micro SD or a USB-C to recharge the controllers instead of actually putting the controllers in all the time. And this is also because, you know, a lot of us actually use knuckle grips as an enhancement to put on the touch controllers or perhaps even something to protect the controllers. So when they fall, they don't actually break. And that actually covers the battery part. So every time we need to change the control, we actually have to remove it all the time. And that can be pretty, you know, troublesome, pretty annoying. So it'd be good if, you know, we just put put the micro SD there and then bangs your uncle. We don't have to remove the lid or the cover or anything like that in order to recharge the controllers. I also like what DPVR do, the P1 Pro 4K, and what Pico do with the Neo Geo 2 at the moment is the fact that you can actually put an extra uh, SD card, micro SD card inside of the headset so you have additional memory. I think that'd be really awesome if it was something they could have also perhaps put in the next quest. I'm not sure whether they will do it or not, but you know, just some ideas there. Why not if they have it? Might be good. I don't know what you think. Do leave a comment below. Do you think the design should be so much more different? Or do you think it's a good thing that actually the design is quite similar to the current quest? Because it means that all the accessories you would have bought, which by the way, if you put all the accessories like the facial interface, you know, the covers to protect the lenses and all these kind of things, you know, it could round up to an extra two or perhaps 300 US dollars, which means that your quest originally would have cost 399 or 499, ends up being 699, 799 or 899. You know, that's quite a lot of money. So I think the fact that the next quest doesn't really look so much different perhaps means we can recycle all the additional accessories that we bought. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Now, of course, there's no details as we mentioned in one of the previous videos where we talked about the announcement from the Asian Nikkei Review, which is a publication based in Japan that spoke about production to start at the end of this month. You know, there was no details in terms of the resolution and you know all those other things. So for this, we're just gonna have to take a 
wait to see approach. Now, of course, this could be wishful thinking, but I like to think that the next Oculus Quest will also have pass through in color and maybe have an additional camera on the top as well. Whatever might happen, who knows? When would it come out? We don't know. I like to think that it will be out by Christmas. Uh, is it wishful thinking? I don't know, but it is going to be happening very soon. And Oculus obviously have been very aggressive in their marketing and public relation campaign. They have to remain relevant. So it could all be snuff, as they say, or just fog, cloud, I don't know. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to hit the like and subscribe. Share some love so that you and I together, we can grow the community and help as many people as possible in virtual reality and head out to vressentials.io if you want to see more news as well and discover VR AR creators. All right, until next time, take it easy, stay positive, and as always, DJ, take it away. Whew.